Oi, if you and your speed freak boys are looking for a good set of wheels to crump of a gits out there, Mortblade has you covered. We've got a great selection for you to choose from, and today we'll be looking at the looted wagon. Again, it's hard to keep the alt voice going for that long. So welcome one and all to another Speed Freaks guide. Covering all the various vehicles in the game, this time we're going to be looking at the looted wagon. The first tank and heavy vehicle we're going to cover. Now the looted wagon is a strong vehicle that comes with 170 health, but it's slow with only 65 speed. It's rated 2 star, well, bolt difficulty to play, so it's not the easiest to pick up. The lore behind it is that a looted Imperial tank made dead killy by the mech boys with a big cannon. It's loaded with destructive Daka and deadly Grot Bomb. This long-ranged, heavily armoured tank excels at blowing up enemies before they can get anywhere near. So even though this is a tank with heavy armour, it does excel at dealing damage at a distance. But anyway, let's move on to talk about the looted wagon's abilities. First of all, you have access to your boost, which all vehicles have, which is performed by holding shift, which uses up your nitro to speed you forward. Although it speeds you forward, in the case of the looted wagon, is questionable. It pushes you forward at a reasonable pace, shall we say. Next up, by pressing space, you can perform donuts and air control your vehicle whilst you become airborne. This allows you to turn around quickly should you need it, although thanks to the looted wagon being basically a tank, you have access to a 360 degree turret around you. And then finally, as you're playing a tank and heavy vehicle, you have access to the grot repairs by pressing F. This causes the grots inside the vehicle to perform shoddy repairs rapidly and replenish the vehicle's health for a short period of time. This can keep you alive in a sticky situation. But let's move on to the looted wagon's unique abilities. First of all, it has access to the cannon, a powerful cannon that shoots explosive shells. This can be fired at a great distance as well, hitting enemies that may not expect it. The cannon is performed by pressing the left mouse button and has a fairly long cooldown. The cannon gives you a 360 degree firing arc as it's the main turret of the vehicle. You can also scroll on the mouse wheel to zoom in with this to give yourself a better chance at hitting the cannon shot. Just remember to scroll back out should enemies start getting close to you. A warning though, the cannon is a slow firing projectile so lead your shot when you're firing at distant targets. The next ability is the Big Shooters, which allows you to fire three Big Shooters mounted on the front and the sides of the tank. The Big Shooters are used by clicking and holding the right mouse button. While they cannot fire behind you, they give you a good burst of short range damage at enemies who are in front of you or to the sides of you. I will say though, try to line up all the shooters at once, so have the enemy directly in front of you so all three of the guns can fire at your would-be foes. And then finally you have access to the Grot Bomb by pressing E. This allows you to fire a Grot that is basically riding a missile towards enemies. This moves automatically and you can control it with your mouse to a certain degree, to which if you're able to collide with an enemy player, it will deal massive damage. I will say try to seek out players who are already slightly wounded for a chance at getting a frag, but grots are not the best drivers, as you take over the brain of the grot steering the missile instead of the orcs actually steering the tank. But every vehicle out there has pros and cons, no vehicle is perfect. When it comes to the looted wagon, its biggest pro is its damage potential so long as you're keeping enemies in front of you. Firing a grot bomb, then going into your cannons and big shooters allow you to dish out decent damage at most ranges. The next pro is this vehicle's health, able to survive more punishment than your average vehicle. And if you have a healer with you, you can be very hard to shift off the of points. And then finally the last pro is the Grot Repairs, which allow you to heal yourself in a pinch, keeping you in a fight. But of course there are cons. The biggest con for the looted wagon is, unfortunately, it's a slow vehicle. But then again, all the tanks are kind of slow, which is a little bit of a problem for them. And the other con is, if you are caught unaware without support, you can go down pretty quickly, even though you are a tank vehicle. Being attacked in the back is the bane of the looted wagon. But if you're looking for a beefy vehicle that can deal long range or medium range damage whilst at the same time being able to withstand a decent amount of punishment with a good team behind you, I would strongly recommend the Looted Wagon. It does take a little while to learn properly, but once you get it down, it's very enjoyable. But what are your thoughts? Please leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you my guide to the Looted Wagon in Speed Freaks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.